Hi, it's Lisa Campion. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing a free call on Wednesday night um, that's about called Anxiety Relief for Empaths, or really for anyone, I guess. Um, I think that anxiety is the worst of all feelings. It's so horrible, isn't it? That feeling of being anxious, like serious anxiety. It's kind of like that crunchy, broken glass feeling in your stomach. Um, I just my least favorite emotion um, and it's so common right I mean like I just read something in the newspaper the other day that said Xanax and um, and, and other anti-anxieties are like the, the third most prescribed medication in the country right now um, so anxiety is like a big problem for a lot of people right and it's super common for sensitive people um, to feel anxiety um, and I just was thinking about it, like, what's the difference between anxiety and fear, right? So fear is a really important emotion, like we really need fear. Like, let's say you're walking through the woods, right? And you get to this, you know, you're on your favorite path in the woods and a bear jumps out at you, right? Your body is going to go into fight or flight. So your adrenal glands squeeze, your system gets flooded with adrenaline, and you, you're going to fight, flight flee, freeze, you're going to do something that's probably going to save your life from whatever danger is really there, right? So that's fear. Fear is a like normal biological response to actual danger. And the truth is we really need fear. Fear is something that saves your life. Like fear is that feeling of like when you, when you slam your foot on the brake, somebody stops in front of you and you're driving in your car, you slam your foot on the brake before you can even think about it. And that's instinctual response saves your life. Fear, we need fear. Anxiety is different though. Anxiety is like, you know, then you're walking down the, the same path in the woods two weeks later and you get to the spot where the bear was and you feel the same fear response even though the bear isn't there. So anxiety is when we trigger the fear response based on a thought. It's not based on actual an actual situation that's really dangerous or there's actually something there that you need to worry about. Anxiety is sort of a what if. What if a bear is here because the last time there was. Um, and, you know, we get into a lot of problems with that because anxiety is extremely bad for your health. You know, and any physician or doctor will tell you that so many of our uh, modern day illnesses are caused by stress by anxiety, um, running your adrenal glands like that, constantly squeezing your adrenal glands and, and being in that state of hyper arousal, of hyper, you know, uh, hyper um, adrenaline is super hard on your body. Plus it feels terrible. Like we need to learn how to bring the anxiety down a little bit here. Um, and uh, I think you can cure your anxiety without taking meds. And I think so because I did it. Um, you know, I used to have a lot of anxiety and I learned some mindfulness techniques that have been uh, helped me uh, throttle back my anxiety because when you're in anxiety, you're sort of always in a what if circumstance, like what if so and so happens, right? It's not really something that's happening in the moment that you have to worry about. So I wanted to just today give you two tips that I use pretty much still. I use them all the time. Um, and these are some of the tips that I'm going to be, um, there's a lot more on the call that I'm going to be doing on Wednesday night, but this is kind of a, these are two of my favorite ones, right? So when you're dealing with um, especially high levels of anxiety, um, you want to kind of keep track in your mind the difference between facts and feelings. So when you focus on facts, it's going to uh, kind of keep you in the moment with mindfulness, so, like it's a mindfulness technique. So. Um, so what are the facts, the facts, and I, when I was really working this myself, I carried around a little notebook in my purse, and if I felt like the anxiety was coming up, and I used to have panic attacks, like really bad ones, so when I felt that was coming up, I would get out my little notebook and I would write the facts. So the facts are X, Y, and Z, you know, and then on the next page, I would write the feelings. So blah, 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 right? And if you can get the feelings out and sort of concentrate on the facts, usually when we're dealing with facts, we can be more grounded. We can sort of deal with the facts. And I think it's sort of interesting and ironic too that a lot of people who have a lot of anxiety are actually pretty good in a kind of an, emer an actual emergency. If there really was something going down, they're really the facts really were gnarly, you probably would be able to deal with it. Hi, Patricia. I miss you, Pat. Thanks for being here today. Um, so 
Uh, facts versus feelings. This is something that's that's really useful. Um, and part of that was like a little mantra that I would use, which is in this moment I'm perfectly safe. And if you if you're a hyper anxious person, and this is particularly good for sensitives and empaths. Think about it. In this moment, are you safe? Ninety nine percent of the time, maybe ninety five percent of the time, it you are safe in the moment. Um, and when you're not safe in the moment, you might be pretty actually pretty good at dealing with the fact that you know something weird is going down. So if you can kind of stay with the facts and stay with the mantra, in this moment, I'm perfectly safe. Um, we can we can sort of learn, you can sort of train yourself to throttle that anxiety back down a little bit. Um, and the other one that I really like um, is, um, I got this book, I got this from the book, um, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie, which I think is one of the best books ever written about anxiety. Now Dale, he's like, you know, he's an oldie but a goodie, and I really think his book is fabulous if you are really struggle with anxiety. Um, and one of the things that tips he talks about is to think about the worst case scenario. So here's an example. Um, I have to have a root canal. My tooth is killing me and I have to have a root canal. I'm having like the, tomorrow. And that can be an anxiety, um, pro you know, provoking event. But when I heard the news, I kind of immediately went to the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is I'm going to need the root canal. Um, and you know, I'm gonna have to pay out of pocket because my dental insurance is used up for the year. And once I, that's the worst case scenario. And once I got that under my belt, I'm like, can I deal with that? Can I actually handle that? Yes, it's not my favorite thing, but it's actually something that I can deal with. My anxiety about the, that went away because, you know, I handled the worst case scenario. So when, if you can accept whatever the worst case scenario is, and then of course we hope for better, we hope that, we can improve that situation. We hope that we don't have to deal with the worst case scenario. But if if you get it under your belt and figure out if you can accept it or not, you can usually keep the anxiety down to a minimum. So those are some of the tools that I need that I use. Um, and I hope that if you want to learn more about this, we're gonna I'm gonna really talk about um, anxiety, different kinds of anxiety, um, and and eat how we can sort of treat or or cure, heal each of the different kinds of anxiety, especially the ones that empaths have. Um, we're going to talk about that on Wednesday night, so I'll post the details to and the registration to this call that I'm going to do. It's free, just because, you know, sometimes I do free stuff for you guys. So, um, so I'll post that in here, in below, and I, thanks for listening. I hope you have a really peaceful day. That's zero anxiety, very peaceful day. It's a gorgeous fall day out today, and um, if you're, and remember to stay in the moment, because in this moment, you're perfectly safe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.